data sheet demo. All right, this first line, I use this for learners that maybe you need to build some extra rapport. They need to know that their behavior has power before you start shaping to help build that rapport. So um, some, some learners, I'll use this line. Others, I'll go straight to their first trial of SBT is one of shaping the language, um, replacing the problem behavior. Now, this trial number refers to your trial number. So this is my first trial. Uh, I'm going to circle an independent response or slash a prompted response, which is what the first trial would be. And this is the EO um, part of your trial. So you're going to put your EO in place. All right, it's time to stop. Say my way. And maybe they engage in some non-dangerous problem behavior during the EO. Maybe they, they're yelling uh, several times and maybe, I don't know, like making fists or, or making some other R2 behaviors. And maybe... They do engage, because this is your first trial, in a more dangerous, maybe a headbang. Um, and now you, you give them their way. You're like, oh, no worries, man, dude. And then you're giving them their stuff back. Um, but say they stay upset. They're, they maybe yell for another minute. Or maybe they even do another headbang after that return to reinforcement. So that goes here. And you're not going to circle this if they're not happy, relaxed, and engaged for at least half the interval. So if this is your first trial and you're seeing R1s, um, you're probably not going to circle this first one because it took, take, might take you quite a while to figure out how to get them happy, relaxed, and engaged again. But you do, um, and for a few minutes um, at least before you run your second trial. Um, and when you're ready, you're going to put that EO back in place. You're going to say, all right, it's time to stop. Only this time you have reassessed your you're prompting and you're you're gonna make sure that there is a visual there's a physical um response that you can prompt more easily and this one is also prompted but maybe you only get like maybe one r2 instead of many r2s and an r1 um, and your return to reinforcement is a lot more salient and clean and you're able to get them happy relaxed and engaged within uh, you know 30 seconds um, maybe they did complain a little bit uh, maybe they'd say that, like, all done, I don't like this, or something like that on the return, but otherwise got back to happy really quick. Uh, trial number three, also prompted, but this time, um, no problem behavior. Uh, number four, also prompted, um, also happy. And then trial number five, uh, maybe... You know, sometimes I'll write my prompt code, so I'm fading my prompts, and this is one where just a gesture prompt worked to get the get it happening, and you've kept them happy. Uh, now we're on trial number six. Um, maybe you are able to fade, and there is an independent response, and they're happy. Uh, but maybe you push it. Uh, maybe your EO is slightly different. Maybe the context changes. They're playing a different part of the, the game or playing with different materials. And that, for some, whatever reason, gets hard again. And you're like, you're going to note it because it's all good information. But you got a little yell. You had to prompt. Uh, but you got them happy again real quick. So you're starting to get it get what makes them happy. So seven, trial eight. Um, again, you're going to reassess your prompting. Maybe or your timing of your EO maybe needed shifting and you were able to get a, another independent happening really nicely and maybe another independent in a, in a row there. Um, and then maybe a third one hitting criteria. Now we move on to the complex functional communication response. Now for this learner, perhaps we'll just teach them to say my way, please. So I'm just going to make a little note of what that looks like. Maybe this is likely the same day as the previous one. Uh, and we are on trial number 11. Um, and again, we're going to prompt um, errorlessly to start with, keep them happy. Let's say that our, our learner is quite language abled and they're able to get that they are expected to say please and they don't have any emotional reaction to it. And they meet criteria really quickly, 13. 14, 15 trials. So now we're moving on to the TR, the tolerance response. So now they're saying, when we put the EO in place, my way please, uh, and they're doing it independently. There's their fourth one in a row, and we are on trial number 16, and they are still very happy. Uh, now you've got your TR. So you're going to say, 
All right, it's time to stop. They say my way, please, because that is still mastered. They've got it in their repertoire, but this is their first time being expected to say, okay, after you say no. So you say no, you say, all right, say, say okay. And um, they say okay um, without any problem behavior, let's say, and you keep them happy. Um, return to reinforcement really saliently. Now, maybe this time, uh, you go to prompt and maybe again something about your context or your delivery is a little different and that's where their heat lives maybe you sounded a little bit too harsh or something so again you're going to record that they had an r2 behavior um but you had them happy again real quick and maybe they complained a little bit um after the return to reinforcement but all together it only took a couple seconds and you got them happy again and you're going to reassess your prompting and maybe your timing of that EO presentation. Um, they get a nice easy one. Nice to see that maintain. And then for trial 20, um, you're going to go in with some different timing and prompting um, and there's no problem behavior. And they did that first one independently and then they're happy again and then maybe this time oh and then yeah you've got another couple really nice easy trials we're on what 20 21 22 and 23 now this one um maybe you go for it and they do it independently and there's no problem behavior so that's showing that both of those responses happened without prompts. And maybe you get another one again. Woohoo! 24. And then, oh, wow, well, you hit criteria for that one. And then you move on.